Hello Matrix and welcome to our series of videos on the perfect market. In today's lesson we will be focusing on a concept called shutdown point. We will examine the shutdown graph and then discuss it. We know grade 12s that all firms have costs. The firm's cost structure consists of fixed and variable costs. The main difference between fixed and variable costs is that the firm is locked into paying its fixed costs. We could actually say that the firm is contractually bound to honor their fixed costs, whereas the firm has far more control over their variable costs. A firm will shut down production when it cannot meet its average or its total variable costs. Another way of saying this is that we could say that shutdown occurs when the firm's total variable costs exceeds its total revenue, alternatively when the firm's average variable costs exceeds its average revenue. At this stage, Matrix, I would like to draw your attention to the following. Shutdown does not necessarily mean that the firm shuts down but that rather a particular good or service that it supplies is no longer feasible. So let's just say for example that a particular chip factory produces a range of flavors but that the flavor chakalaka has not proven to be popular with consumers. The firm will then decide to discontinue that particular flavor of chips but it will not shut down the chip factory. So let's unpack the drawing of the shutdown graph. Remember grade 12s, we've already covered the graphical positions of an economic profit, normal profit and economic loss in our previous lessons. So in today's lesson, we're simply going to be adding on the shutdown point to our graph, which we now know occurs when the average variable cost intersects with the marginal cost. Let's start our graph by filling in the axes since the heading is already there. So let's put in our axes. Let's label it zero price quantity. So the first curve that we're going to be filling in is the average variable cost curve. So let me fill in my average variable cost curve and label it. Then the next curve that we're going to be filling in at grade 12s is our average total cost curve. Label it. The last curve that we're going to be adding in grade 12s is our marginal cost curve, which we know should intersect our cost curves at its lowest point. So round about there and round about there. Right, so let's draw in our marginal cost curve, label it, there we go. So from our previous lessons, we know that we are able to discern where economic profit occurs and we know economic profit occurs when the average revenue lies above the average total cost. So let's fill that in. Let's label it D, which is equal to AR, which is equal to MR. And we can clearly see here, grade 12s, that our average costs lie below our average revenue, and that means that an economic profit has incurred. When our average cost curve is equal to our average revenue, in other words, at this point here, that's when we've earned a normal profit. So at this point here, grade 12s, that's when our normal profit situation occurs. We also know that when our average costs exceed our average revenue, that's when the firm has incurred an economic loss. So we can fold that in as well. We can say D is equal to AR, which is equal to MR. And that will, of course, be our economic loss situation because our average revenue is less than our average total costs. What we've learned today is that where our marginal cost curve intersects with our average variable cost curve, in other words, at that point, their grade 12s, that is in fact known as our shutdown point. So I'm actually just going to fill that in. Shutdown point. Okay. Grade 12s, the firm 
has got no business producing below this point. And the reason for that is simply because the firm's average variable costs exceed its average revenue. So below this point, it will not even consider producing because it's simply not financial, financially feasible. So let me just fold this in. That there, of course, is my shutdown point. Let me just extend that a little bit. D is equal to AR, which is equal to MR. And at this point, the firm will simply not be producing. So I'm just going to fill in all my labels. Call that E. Call that D. C. B. And A. That will be P1. P2. P3. P4. And P5. So just a quick recap, economic profit, normal profit, economic loss, shutdown point where my marginal cost curve intersects with my average variable cost curve and at point A I will definitely not be producing. Let's go through it again. At point E the firm is making an economic profit because the firm's average revenue exceeds its average costs. Remember grade 12s, when we're talking about average costs, it's exactly the same as average total costs. So ATC is in fact exactly the same as AC. At point D, the firm is making a normal profit because the firm's average revenue is equal to its average costs. So that's my average costs there, that's my average revenue, meaning that a normal profit has been earned. At point C, the firm is making an economic loss because the firm's average total costs exceed its average revenue. At point B, this is the lowest price that the firm can charge. And this grade 12 is also known as my shutdown point. It occurs where my marginal cost curve intersects with my average revenue curve, which is of course at point B. At point A, the firm will not produce here simply because the average variable costs exceed the average revenue. So what we could in essence also say, grade 12, is that the firm's supply curve starts at point B because this is the lowest price that the firm can charge. It is not feasible for them to be charging anything lower than price P4. You should now be able to draw and explain the shutdown graph. Thank you very much. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.